Welcome to a Quirky Monday Extra. This video is the Quirky Monday and Bellish collaboration vlog. So if you watch my recent podcast, um, you would know that um, I was contacted by Bellish to create something using their app. Bellish was kind enough to sponsor this content. So thank you so much, Bellish, for sponsoring this and for providing this opportunity for me. Um, and of course, all of the opinions uh, that I share with you guys are my own. Um, I'm really excited to get this project going. So today is August 31st and the polls for the Quirky Monday Fam project are currently running on Instagram. So before I get into the breakdown of those polls, I will tell you a little bit more about Bellish. So Bellish is a free app that is currently a available on um, iOS, so on iPads, iPhones, etc., Apple devices, um, and they also have a website. This application gives you the opportunity to basically do a plug and play um, pat knitting pattern creation. So. If you have an idea for a particular item, you can use the software to create a pattern based on your particular um, details. So for instance, you can do hats, socks, and sweaters. The sweaters, they have pullovers and um, cardigans. And then you can decide if you want raglan shaping or drop shoulder shaping, different kinds of, of shaping that way. You can choose the length, um, the amount of ease, all of that. You can just boop, 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 put that in. Um, Bellish also offers a bunch of different stitch patterns. There are textured stitch patterns, some color work charts, as well as striping charts that are available um, through the app. And then if you don't want to go through this super easy process of making your own pattern, they also have a library of patterns that have been created on the site that you can download and knit yourself. Um, so it looks like it's gonna be a really cool, um, it looks like it's gonna be a really cool project or a process to go through rather. Um, and, and we'll see. So let's jump back to the polls that I mentioned earlier. So the way that we're going to explore Bellish is by me creating a pattern that is dictated by you guys. Um, so right now I posted the polls this morning, I don't know, probably around 10 a.m., so the polls are in my Instagram stories. I don't know why I'm telling you this now because you're definitely not seeing this at the same time, but the polls um, on my Instagram stories are gonna stay live for 24 hours. So um, they're still gonna be running until tomorrow morning. But right now, I will give you guys an update. So it is nine o'clock p.m. And so far, well, before I tell you who's in the lead, um, these are the things that people are voting on. Um, the type of project, which is, the type of project, which is a beanie or toe up socks. So that's what that looks like. Um, if you chose the socks, you can you can choose if you wanted a tall sock or an ankle sock. If you want me to do two by two rib or a rolled edge. You can choose the stitch pattern. There's Andalusian and Little Fountain Lace. Um, I kind of want the little fountain weight little fountain lace to win, but we'll see. Um and then you can choose the color 
which this is like a bright purple. It's coming up a bit more pink on camera, but it's a bright purple. And then this is a burgundy. Then if you choose, if you chose the beanie, you can decide if you want me to do a flat ribbing or a folded rib. <clears throat> if you want me to do the dewdrop lace pattern or the wild oats pattern. If you want it to be fingering weight or worsted weight, I got a really funny comment on this one. Someone voted for fingering weight and they said, because I'm evil. <laughs> so I might end up making a fingering weight hat. We'll see what the people say. Um, these are the same colors for fingering weight as the sock. So if, if the fingering, fingering weight hat wins, we would choose one of these colors. If the worsted weight hat wins, we'd choose one of these colors and this is a, a like a light gray and this is a burnt orange and I think that's everything yes so that's those are all of the polls that are up on Instagram so tomorrow afternoon I will be able to go in and plug and play the winning numbers and we'll see what kind of project the Quirky Monday fan project is. Um, I will give you guys a sneak, little little sneak a sneak. As of right now, the beanie is winning, but it's still close. There's 138 votes for socks and 170 votes for beanie. So socks are socks are catching up. I only have a month to do this, so. <laughs> um, I am I'm excited to see the participation um, in these polls so that's been really fun um, yeah so let's see what else can I tell you so right now Bellish only does knitting project or knitting patterns um, per the information that they sent they sent me um, they are currently only doing the knitting patterns, um, but they'd love to offer crochet in the future. So we're gonna keep our fingers all crossed for the bellish crochet, cause that will be a lot of fun. Um, it's only available on Apple devices right now um, and they're working on releasing it for Android. So that will also be really great. I mean, there's, there's not a lot of explanation that really needs to go for like the type of the type of application it is um, I have played around with it um, I have gone in and created a pattern myself and um, it is super easy um, I created the pattern I made a sweater pattern and um, I did that before seeing anyone else talk about bellish or or walk through how to actually create um, the pat like create patterns in it. So it's a very intuitive um, system. It's very It makes sense. I just I really am excited to see what you guys like finally decide because I've been checking You know every so often all day and it's just like the numbers are just kind of going like this Like who's gonna win? What's gonna win? What am I gonna end up doing? Like I can't I just have to wait for you guys to to tell me what to do. It's going to be an as you wish kind of situation with this. And I'm excited for that. Um, they did say that uh, once we finish making the Quirky Monday fan project, that it might be shared on their website. So fingers crossed we can have this pattern available for download. Um, of course, if we're able to get that, you know, shared um, through their site, I will definitely let you guys know because how cool would that be for like you little quirky Monday peeps to have your own item that was designed by you quirky Monday peeps, right? Am I right? I'm really excited about this. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next clip, which will be tomorrow. Hi friends, it's September 1st, 
and that means that it is cast on day. So I will give you a life update first. Today was a very annoying, very long, pretty stressful day at work. So it's 5.16 now and I'm so excited to be able to close my uh, computer and do something yarny. So earlier I looked at the, I pulled the results for the polls and um, posted what the Quirky Monday fam project is. And brrr, it is a beanie. So the beanie won. And we are going to be making a slouchy beanie with a folded rim, folded brim. Um, the Wild Oaks colorway, or colorway, the Wild Oaks stitch pattern or texture pattern. So I got some cables happening. Um in the burnt orange colorway and worsted weight. So hallelujah for that worsted weight. Y'all love me, appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so I will insert the screenshot or the, not screenshot, the s screen recording of me creating that pattern. And then we will start swatching. Right off the bat, one thing I did notice was on the, um, in the supplies that are listed, it did not list a cable needle. So, um, that is, that's one thing that I would say to be careful of when you're using the pattern, when you're using the Bellish app is to read over the, um, like stitch abbreviations because in the stitch abbreviations for the cabling, it said using a cable needle. Um, so just in case this is your first time doing cables or anything, it's kind of, you probably should have a cable needle. But um, off just um, my first glance over the pattern, that's the first thing that I kind of saw that was missing. So yeah, it shows you the size needles that you need, how much yardage you need for your um, yarn and everything like that. Um, when I actually get into the pattern, I'll do another uh, screen recording of the different features within the actual pattern itself. It has like row counters, I think, built in and like highlighting so you can keep track of where you are in the pattern. Um, I did make a mistake earlier when I was talking about um, Bellish. I was under the thought that if you don't have an Apple device, you can create the patterns on their website. That's not true. So you can only create customized patterns like the the hats, the socks, the sweaters. Yeah, hat, socks, and sweaters and stuff. You can only customize those patterns in when you're using their actual application. Um, for those of us who don't have, you know, Apple phones or, or anything like that, you can use, you can go on their website, but their website is the library of their top drop shoulder knitting patterns in a range of sizes and patterns. Um, and I read that from the website just now. So I'm actually looking at the website and 
yeah, there's, you can filter by size, fit, length, sleeve, neckline, embellishments, and yarn type. So um, in the Bellish app, embellishments means um, like the stitch, the stitch pattern, whether you want it striped, whether you want color work, etc. So yeah, there are so many options on here. Like low key, I want to just be like, I'll pick one of these. <laughs> but yeah, so lots of different options that way for people who don't have an Apple device. So I'm actually, I have an iPad, so I'm using the Bellish app on my iPad. So you'll be able to, the, the recording that you just watched was me creating a pattern on my iPad. Um, so yeah, we'll get started with the swatching process now and um, see if I need to make any adjustments with my needles. Y'all, I don't swatch for real, for real unless I'm using like a different type of yarn or something like that. But typically I just kind of start, which has bitten me in the butt with amounts of yarn. I am the queen of running out of yarn. So I'm gonna swatch like an adult and um, hopefully I make gauge. So yeah, let's get started. Here's my swatch. I met Gage, so I am good to go. I like how this yarn is working out. This is just your regular, regular, regular acrylic yarn. It's gonna be, well, not it, but my hair is gonna be happy that I use this type of yarn. Um, yeah, so, and I like that color. We about to be all fall vibes up in here um, in these Florida streets where they don't believe in fall. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and frog this and cast on for the hat. Yay! checking in come over here too sit don't look me in the face no. sit good girl 
so this is how far we have gotten on the hat um, I'm maybe halfway through this first ball and I have I think a little under an inch left to do on my ribbing yay I finished the ribbing so um, for the hat I was supposed to knit four inches of ribbing four inches of two by two rib so that's what we have and then we're gonna go into the um, into the wild oaks pattern but yeah so this is what my folded brim is gonna look like oh this is gonna be cute so yeah I'm gonna be knitting on this in the car my friend Tiffany and I are going to her sister's bachelorette weekend I have a bag full of knitting. There's like five different projects in here. Okay, maybe not five. Maybe like three. But still. I have plenty to keep me occupied while I'm driving. Um, I'm going to see how, uh, how easy it is to memorize the stitch pattern. Um, if anything, since... You know what? I don't know if I can access my bellish pattern offline. Let me check that and I'll be right back with you. All right. I turned um, the Wi-Fi off on my iPad and you can still use your patterns. Like I guess the patterns that you've created um, while you're offline. So that's really awesome for when we're driving through the highways and the byways um so i'll have my pattern with me otherwise i was going to resort to uh screenshotting all the instructions <laughs> but luckily i won't have to do that so um yeah this is how far we've gotten this is how much yarn i have left of the first ball and i have caked up the second ball um based on the ins not the instructions based on the supplies that it said um, for the size and the pattern and everything I would only need two balls of yarn to complete the pattern um, so I think what my plan is going to be is to knit it to the point where I guess until the, the decreases and see how it interacts with my hair and then I'll make a decision there if I want to make it a little bit longer um, or, or what I want to do at that point. But yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, we are on to the body. I'm like really liking this much two by two rib. I've never knit anything that had four inches of ribbing. I think the most ribbing I've done is maybe two inches and that's like pushing it but this is the most knitted ribbon ribbing I've ever done I think the the shawl not the shawl this what is it called the shrug that I made for the wedding the cuffs on it have about a four inch um, rib but that's in crochet so this is the this is the longest knitting knitted rib I've ever done and am I a long ribbing girl? Am I liking that? Who knows? So yeah, one row into the body. We're going to keep going. Um, I will check back in after I've done a whole repeat of the, the, the pattern instruction or the stitch pattern. And I'll let you know how I feel about it. <sighs> okay. I have done four, where can I show you best? I have done four of the cables for this pattern and I can confidently say there is no way that I'm going to be able to do this at nighttime in the car. <laughs> but it is, it is a very like simple kind of 
um, stitch and it looks like it's gonna be really pretty so I'm just gonna keep going as long as I can before um, before Tiffany gets here and we have to get on the road but yeah this this not car knitting <laughs> or at least not nighttime car knitting daytime car knitting definitely could but um mm -mm. not unless I wanted to ruin it I don't know why I'm just randomly singing stuff earlier I like made up this song about how I needed to keep this uh US keep like keep a hold of this USB drive but I was wearing leggings and leggings don't have pockets I'm so weird sometimes. So, I hope you guys are having a good day, whatever day it is when you see this. Peace out. to do an update on the Quirky Monday Fam Beanie um, because I have finished the first ball of yarn and this is how far one ball of yarn took me I have done one two three I'm working on I've completed three repeats of the pattern and I'm halfway through the fourth one so yeah that's pretty good this pattern is working up very dense so um, yeah and I'm liking the yarn it's not giving me like that acrylic squeak that you can sometimes experience um, yeah I really like it this is my progress keeper that I've been using and I I think this was a, pa a pair of earrings that I found at a thrift store and I was like I'm gonna make that into progress keepers because that's what I do but I love how it matches like perfectly and it gives me such fall vibes which you know Florida doesn't have fall so there's that I have to inject it where I can so I'm gonna go ahead and join in my second ball of yarn and keep on knitting um so far, my favorite thing about the Bella app is definitely the row counter um, because this is a six row repeat. Um, when I was knitting on it yesterday in the car, which I think I think I did some clips in the car, but while I was knitting on it yesterday in the car, I still didn't quite have the, the pattern memorized. So it was nice to be able to move that, um, no, not row counter, the highlighter to move the highlighter to each row and then the highlighter stays um, wherever you put it if you close the app it doesn't like reset or anything like that so you open the app back up and it's like you're here and that's pretty cool um, yeah I don't have anything else to say about the pattern so far the next action that I'll see or like the next change in uh, instructions that I'll see is when I get to the decreases and I'm supposed to work this until it's like I think six six something inches um, and right now I am only at where is the oh here's a ruler uh oh I'll use this one I am at 
three and a half inches. So yeah, I've got a ways to go. But I really like how it shows up on camera there. It's way more um, defined on camera than it is to the naked eye. In the naked eye, it's very it's a very subtle texture, but I like it nonetheless. I'm really, really loving this color. This is um, the Just Yarn Acrylic from Dollar Tree in the color Ember. So really liking that, really liking the process. I did have to do some frogging, which I think I also uh, may have done some clips of, but basically to get the, uh, the cables to go the different ways at the end of, of or at the beginning of your second set of cables, you have to move your beginning of round um, stitch, like marker, and I missed that instruction. Or no, no, I moved it and I did the row, but then I missed the instruction to move it back. And then I knit, I think, three or four rows on and then realized my mistake and had to frog back. Um, but, it was fine. That's about everything that I have for this update. Um, I think the next update I'm going to do is whenever I get to the decreases. So you won't see me for a little bit. Hi friends. I am dropping stuff on the floor. I am here with an update on the Quirky Monday Fam Beanie. We are about to start the decreases. So, oh, that that texture just looks so good on the camera. Yeah. So, I think I did six repeats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I did six repeats of the Wild Oaks pattern. And um, now we're about to get into these decreases. Um... I think I mentioned earlier that I've been using the highlighter a lot um, to help me keep track of where I am in the pattern. I've also been using the, um, I guess, abbreviations glossary. So they have a built-in abbreviations glossary in the Bellish app that you can just um, open up and it brings all of the abbreviations at the bottom of the screen. So as you're going through your pattern, when you get to an abbreviation that you don't remember exactly what to do, um, you can just click on the abbreviation at the bottom and a little pop-up will come that tells you the little instructions and then you can just close that and keep on going. So it's really cool that it doesn't take you away from the pattern instructions. It just kind of gives you a little pop-up reminder of how to do that particular stitch. Um, so that's really cool and uh, yeah so on to the decreases um, I'm really in love with this color I just it's making me so happy it just feels so fall and I've already been thinking like you know I want to take pictures in the hat right and um, I want to do one of my photo shoots, photo shoot, um, where I'm going to pose in front of the fake flowers at a craft store and pretend like I'm out in the mountains of Tennessee. Um, so yeah, happy fall y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions on how to do the decreases and then get started. Um, this is how much I have left of my second ball. Um, yeah, the end is in sight. Like this was a really, a pretty quick knit actually. Yeah, because today is the 7th, so I've only been working on this for a week and we're almost done so that's fun and i will check in with you guys later on so i just read over the instructions for the decreases and 
um, the texture pattern does not continue into the into the decrease section so it's just going to be flat decreasing um, I am going to add in stitch markers so that I don't have to count how many stitches are between my decreases every row um, that is something that Bellish does not have you do so um, not that it's really necessary because you can always you can see the decreases you know if you're okay with reading your knitting but I just don't feel like doing all that I'm gonna put in these here stitch markers um, I low-key feel like I might finish this hat tonight I did drink a whole cup of coffee so this hat may actually get finished tonight Which is always my fear when I wear hats like this like for real though I'd look like my little brother <laughs> I look just like my little brother right now but I'm not mad at it okay bellish okay okay Am I ready for the fall? Am I ready to go frolicking in the woods? Yes. Yes, I am. Unfortunately, we're in Florida and we do not have any fall nor woods to frolic in. Well, I have woods. I would just probably have a heat stroke if I went out like this. Like, I look like, like I'm ready for a corn maze and pumpkin picking right now like <sighs> I'm very happy very very happy right now and I, I just I, I cannot get over how much I love the fit because y'all know I always am, I'm always talking about how I have to make hats really big because I have a lot of hair like is this what people with normal amounts of hair feel like when they put on a hat like it's supposed to be on their head I love it let's see what Lamar says Look at it. <laughs> you look like the fit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've knit a hat that actually fits. I didn't know that I had been making hats too small for my hair. I just thought my hair was too big for the hat. I love it. Hi friends. I hope you enjoyed watching the vlog of me creating this hat it has been like two and a half weeks since the last clip and i have been wearing this hat so much um which is kind of ridiculous because y'all know i live in florida so i'm just out here wearing this beanie because i love it that much that i'm just hot but it's okay because i just turned the fan on <laughs> um i have not worn it outside because i'm not crazy um, yeah, so before we get into my final thoughts of the process and everything like that, I do want to 
kind of refresh you on the details of the Bellish app. It is a free application available for Apple devices. For people who are not Apple users, they do have a website where you can um, have access to their to a bunch of their patterns for their sweaters. So lots of variations for sweaters, different patterns, different designs, things like that. Uh, so that is available through the website. You just can't do the customizing. Um, that would be great <laughs> if we could do customization through the website. But as of right now, it is only available on the app, the actual um, app. So without further ado, let's get into my final thoughts. I wrote notes. For making the pattern, the points that I wanted to like highlight are um, the design process was super easy and intuitive. For me, whenever I'm trying a new app, I pay a lot of attention to how intuitive it is. Like, does it make sense going from step one to step two to step three? could I do this without explicit instruction? And you absolutely can. The, the Bellish app is very intuitive. It, it makes sense in the way that it's laid out. So that's really cool. Um, there was a variety of texture and stitch patterns that were available in the app. So you do have the option to make a plain stockinette item for any of the, the base items that you choose. Um, but you can also plug and play their different um, textures or embellishments. So yeah, I wrote, if you have a stitch dictionary, you can easily plug and play any other kind of stitches or stitch patterns into the base patterns that the Bellish app will create for you. So that was really cool. Um, saving your pattern like once you finish completing the once you finish putting the pattern together um, saving it was really simple um, you can give it a title it saves it to your uh, your designs um, it will also save drafts and um, so that was really cool to be able to kind of put something together and maybe put it on the back burner um, while you play around with another idea so that's kind of something that I did on the side um, after I finished the Quirky Monday fam beanie. I went and kind of played around with some other ideas and stuff in in this in the Bellish app. So there are quite a few little uh, patterns in my in my uh, library right now. Um, but it's fun to kind of use that as inspiration as. Um, a drawing board or a, a sounding board or something like that so that's pretty cool as well so those are basically like my thoughts when it came to the making like the actual making of the pattern super easy to put together um, super flexible there's a lot of different sizes that are available for the different items one thing that I liked with the sizing is that it gives you it allows you to choose you know your size so like if you wanted to make a women's medium um, it also will give you it gives you a schematic with all the measurements but then it also calculates ease so you'll be able to see like if you're making a sweater what the actual bust measurement is and then what the ease is that is being uh, calculated in with that pattern so you can make decisions like that how you want the pattern or how you want the final object to actually fit you um, I thought that was really cool let's go on to knitting the pattern um, I really liked that as soon as you put the pattern together like even before you complete the pattern you can look at the supplies that are required so for instance if you have a specific amount of yarn and you put together a pattern and that pattern like after it calculates all of your choices tells you you need more yarn than you have you can go back and make adjustments in the pattern choices to adjust that final amount of yarn so that was really handy 
Um, it tells you the needle sizes and the yarn that you need, the yarn amounts that you need. And then there's an abbreviations list. So it breaks down all the abbreviations in the pattern with um, what they mean. And if it's a, an abbreviated stitch like pattern, it tells you how to do that particular stitch. Um, I did mention this earlier in the in the vlog as I was going through the pattern, but this um, pattern here is a cable and um, a cable needle was not listed in the supplies. It was only listed in how to do the actual stitch. So um, I said in the in the vlog earlier, I would recommend reading through the pattern once you once you create it, reading through the abbreviations to see if there are any other supplies or notions that you might need um, that aren't explicitly listed under the supplies. Um, but that was the only thing that I found missing. Um, and it wasn't technically missing, it just wasn't where I thought that it would be. Like if something calls for a cable needle, I would think that the cable needle will be listed with the other needles. But it was on there. Um, let's see. When you're knitting um, and following one of the patterns that you create in the Bellish app, they give you some tools that you can use um, like to keep your place and to um, to make the actual knitting of the object easier. There's a highlighter tool which um, moves only by tapping arrows on the screen. So I like that because I am the queen of accidentally moving something. So because I had to specifically tap an arrow to move the highlighter up and down um, for the different rows, I was very confident that whenever I looked at the pattern it was actually where I was. Even though I did make a mistake um, and ended up having to rip back like three rows, three or four rows or something like that, but that was totally a Kalisha mistake. Um, I really, really like the highlighter uh, functionality that the app has. They also give you a row counter, which I didn't use um, only because I was counting the repeats like by reading the knitting um, but if you're not like comfortable with reading your knitting then you can definitely use that row counter and keep track that way I liked that those tools wherever you leave them whenever you close the app they are in the same place when you open the app so it is it's a an an actual bookmark <laughs> that does not move unless you move it. Oh, I wanted to see, I wanted to check and see how much yarn I used, um, how much yarn I used versus how much yarn was um, suggested. So I'll put that on the screen. This is how much I used and this is how much the pattern said that I would use. Um, I knit this exactly to pattern. I didn't make it any longer or anything like that. Um, this is exactly what Bellish told me to do. Um, which <laughs> I am I am ever the changer of patterns. So knitting something exactly to pattern doesn't happen a lot. Um, but yeah, the actual knitting of this was very pleasant. Um, it was very straightforward. Oh, another thing that is available in the in the app that I liked. Um, there is an option at the beginning of the pattern, you know, it gives you all of the breakdowns of your different abbreviations and stuff. While you're knitting, if you, like me, forget how to do a certain stitch, you can, you don't have to go out of the pattern and, um, find the abbreviations and everything like that. There's actually a button that you can push that brings all of the abbreviations up along the bottom of the screen and you can just tap the one that you need a reminder of. Um, I mentioned that while I was knitting the hat, but that's definitely something I wanted to um, repeat because I really liked that 
um because it made me feel like I didn't have to stop what I was doing just to remember how to do like the cable left or cable right or whatever like that I could just go boop okay this way and that way whoop the whoop walk the walk and keep it going um the finished object obviously I have raved about my love for this hat a lot the end of the vlog was just me feeling myself in this hat so much I have been wearing it a lot I love the way that it fits with my hair for me and my locks it's very hard for me to find fitted hats that are not too tight um, I, I feel I say it makes me look like a mushroom when the brim is too tight and then my hair fluffs up inside the hat like in the body of the hat yeah makes me look like a mushroom I don't like it don't recommend but this I love how it just sits and it fits my head and it's not rolling up in the back which is also something that happens a lot because there's a whole lot of volume back here with my hair like I don't feel like it's gonna like slide off my head which has happened before with other hats I like that it just looks like a regular beanie right I feel like everybody who has like flat hair or hair that is not as big as mine is just like yeah that's what beanies do but I legitimately have never had a hat fit like this over my locks so this is this is I don't know it's like the find of the century like I'm gonna be knitting more hats like this and then both of my brothers have locks I'm about to knit them some hats like we all about to have these bellish hats <laughs> um, but I do want to knit one that's just plain stockinette so that I can see um, if it fits differently considering this is a cable but I love the hat I love the fit I love the texture I loved this cable pattern a lot it's so um, subtle but yet has just enough of a punch to be like did you make that <laughs> like it's so cute right I'm, I'm really glad that I chose this color well I didn't chose I didn't choose this color I'm glad that you guys chose this color um, it was either this orange or a gray and I think the gray would have been fine, but this orange is just giving me all of my fall vibes that I don't get because I live in Florida. So thank you for everybody who voted for the orange. Would I do it again? Yes, and I have. So at the beginning of uh, when I was talking about making the pattern and I was saying how the Bellish app can give you a a blank base item that you can go in your, on your own and enhance that's what I did for my second hat so I made another beanie so this is this is the same size as this one is that it's the same yarn same size everything the only difference is I didn't do the texture pattern I just set it up for a plain beanie and then I dropped in the color work chart by Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits um, I took one of the motifs from her fall favorite sweater pattern and dropped it into the hat and it it came out great um, so this is an example of using the Bellish app to create a base product like a base item and then dropping in your own creativity dropping in a color work motif or dropping in another um, stitch pattern or texture pattern into that like onto that canvas and I think that's what I like the most about the idea of the Bellish app is that Yes, it's great that there's all of these different, um, all of these different textures and embellishments that are available through the app, but it also is invaluable with giving you the numbers, the measurements, like 
the yarn amounts for various weights um, to create these these blank canvas items and I think that that gives um, you know experienced knitters and beginner knitters the opportunity to um, kind of flex their own creativity within knitting it's, it's really cool so I'll show you what this hat looks like I actually wove the ends in on here who am I so this one is a little bit bigger because um, the body of it is maybe half an inch to an inch taller than that one um, just because I had to I wanted to do the color work now I could have done it right had I you know paid attention to gauge and all that stuff and how many rows per inch and blah 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 but I didn't so I have all of this color work that I did and if I had just left out one of those and just started here it would have had the same fit as my other beanie but this one is cool I like it I've been wearing this one as well um, I just Florida needs to get cold weather that's it Florida needs to get cold weather so that I can wear my bellish hats out in the street and not like immediately burst into a sweaty mess okay can we Florida can we work that out think about it think about it so um, yeah those are the two hats that I made uh, with the bellish app the quirky Monday quirky Monday fam beanie and then this color work one I'm also working on the quirky Monday fam sock so when I put out the um, the poles for the beanie uh, the other option was to make a pair of socks and this is this is the sock that won it is a lace pattern this is the little little fountain lace pattern so it is a really really pretty delicate lace uh, four row repeat and yeah I just finished the foot and I'll be working up the leg one thing though lace takes a long time it's been a minute since I've knit lace and um, this sock is going slow very very slow but I'm gonna stick it out because I want to finish it and I want to see um, what the sock looks like what the bellish sock looks like um, I did a short row wrap and turn heel with the app when I knit my socks I do a double wrap heel this was a single wrap which I've never done before so following those instructions was pretty cool um, and I might I don't know I might have to do uh, single wrap single wrap heels because although this side is a little bit looser you can't tell in the video but this side is a little bit looser than this side which is the same problem that I run into with with my double wrap heels it just they're always sisters not twins but yeah so there's my bellish items I'm really enjoying it um, if you have access to an Apple device and you want to check it out I definitely would recommend downloading the bellish app like I said it's free and it just it's fun like even if you don't knit anything from it just creating the different um, the different items creating the different garments is fun that's yeah it's fun um, but it's also really cool to create something and see it digitally and then knit the thing and see it in real life so again thank you so much bellish for sponsoring this content thank you for creating this um, this app I really enjoyed it and let me know if you download the app if you have 
made anything with the app? How do you feel about the process? Did you enjoy it? Let me know down below in the comments and have a great day. Bye friends.